We're continuing our study of the names of God, and today we're going to focus on one of the names, actually the first name that is attributable to God, and that word is Elohim. And we read from Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Elohim is the first Hebrew word that is used in reference to God. That's very important for us to understand that the Old Testament was written primarily in Hebrew. And Hebrew was the language of the Israelites. But Hebrew did not only uh, work with the Israelites because the Israelites lived in a certain geographical area and community. So their words were not unique to them. Uh, there were other nations and other tribes which used similar words like the Hebrews did. And the Bible in telling us about creation, the first word that is used to talk about the one who created the heavens and earth is the word Elohim. Elohim is not a personal name, but it is a name that reveals who God is. It reveals his majesty and his power. And in Genesis chapter 1 and uh, chapter 2, this word Elohim is used about 35 times in reference to God. And all of them have to do with him creating things. So it's a very important word uh, that we learn about God or that introduces us to God. Occasionally in the Bible, Elohim is used outside of God. The creator, it's also sometimes used to refer to uh, the other deities of the other nations around, uh, and then other supernatural beings like angels, and then sometimes even some human beings are called Elohim, like judges and so on. So it, it is similar to the way we use the word God, uh, because uh, when we say God, we don't always mean almighty God. There is, a, there is sometimes we have a Godfather, and you have a tin God, and we have a God of some of music or, or something like that. And, and that is not in reference to God. So that's what Elohim is like. It's a general term that talks about God in the Bible, but it is sometimes also used for other things that are not uh, Almighty God. But predominantly in the Old Testament, you'll find this word in reference to God, Elohim. Uh, and sometimes the, that word is used in combination with other words, and we'll be finding that from tomorrow onwards, how that works. Uh, but there are three things I want you to note about Elohim. First, Elohim is the creator. He's the creator. He's the originator. He is the cause of all things. He caused the universe into existence. He is the uncreated one who creates all things. That is why in the act of creation, God is seen as Elohim, the originator, the one who begins all things, the one who owns all things, and the one who brought all things into being, the uncreated one who creates all things. So that's the first thing uh, you get when you're talking about God as Elohim. Uh, it also means a ruler. God is a ruler. God did not just create things and abandon what he has created, but God is active in what he has created because, you know, there are other religions which see God as a creator who took off. He's not interested in what is happening now. But in the Bible, Elohim doesn't just create and move away from the creation, but he rules in the affairs of men. So he's present in his creation. He's outside of his creation, but also present in his creation. He's the ruler of the creation. And thirdly, Elohim is the judge of his creation. He determines what is right and what is wrong. Uh, and so we cannot be in his creation and treat it anyhow as if we originated it. He originates it, he rules it, and he judges it. And that is our first introduction to God. And you see that in, in the acts of creation in Genesis chapter 1, where God uh, creates, and then he's ruling over the creation. The Spirit of God moves upon the face of the waters, and then he makes things, and then he will determine uh, day and night uh, what is good and what is not good. So he's the judge. He determines what is right and not. And then he's uh, the ruler. He's still active in his creation, and he's the original one who makes all things. And that is our first introduction to 
this mighty creator we call God, Elohim. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you have created all things by your power. Help me to always remember that I exist because of you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, that's our first introduction to him. And uh, tomorrow we'll pick another name of God that shows us another dimension of God. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. <laughs>